Eating cyber diggity dogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rain Dog coming at you from on top of a giant ass pillar in the middle of an unknown jungle on a beautiful freaking Minecraft day. How is everybody today, man? I am absolutely freaking sweet, and I'll tell you why, man. In the previous episode, we managed to find a whole but ton of sweet ass loots on our epic freaking expedition beyond the strip mine outpost and in this episode guys we are going to be trying to get our asses back to the mole hole alive and kicking and uh, when we get there guys we're going to be getting a whole ton of you onto the dogolith in commemoration of this most excellent expedition which has yielded such great results for us now in the previous episode loads of you guys were saying that you may you thought that you may have seen a jungle temple from um, up here on this pillar and some of you guys pointed out that it might be in this direction over there just beyond that pond over there but now that the sun has come out it doesn't look like there is a jungle temple over there but I'm gonna go check it out anyway you guys have amazing eyes and you always spot things that I don't like diamonds and freaking you know rare loots that I always miss so I'm gonna go check it out just in case and then maybe we'll look around this jungle just in case there is a jungle temple in here of course jungle temples uh, are something that we haven't found yet so I will be very happy to find a jungle temple we also need to make a compass so that we can find our way back to the model but first and foremostly we need our get get our butts off this pillar without dying and i think i'm going to take a running jump into this pond hopefully uh, we'll be able to clear that land down there and not die all right let's do this man hey no oh damn Whew. that was close man we literally um cleared these leaves by uh, probably less than a hair's width i think damn that was close to death um oh, actually i could have just jumped straight into here well that was almost a noob out of epic proportions but we are alive and kicking and that means we can head towards the supposed location of the jungle temple hold your freaking paws together guys let's hope that there is a jungle temple over here although i'm starting to think that there is probably not there's a cow over there but um that does not necessarily mean jungle temple time and this is where you guys many of you guys said that there might be a jungle temple but it looks like it's just leaves i do not see any ju jungle temple action happening up in here man that is unfortunate although this looks a bit what is going on here is this like swamp land or something what the jazz um that is weird man that is that is very weird um hmm all right well i guess i mean i guess what i'll do because it's really hard to walk through jungle right i, I oh we can stake oh. stakeify this cow thank you for your steaks mm. <laughs> three stakes in the belly thank you very much Carl. um what can we get rid of this cobblestone can get out of here and uh we'll take those stakes happily man i think i'm just going to stakeify any cow that i see because uh fang with his fire aspect enchant makes automatic stakes for us which is epic Ooh. oh god why did the why does this have to happen to me man look how awesome this is look how awesome this is Oh my goodness, this is absolutely epic. This is like a giant natural quarry or something going on up in here, man. Damn, this is awesome. Oh man, I, I kind of don't want to go home now. I kind of want to have a look at what's going on up in here. Oh my goodness, there is another giant ass cave up in here. There's more urn. There's more urn than we can freaking shake a stick at around here, man. Damn, this is such a lucrative area for mining and stuff. I mean, I think we should definitely try and come back here if we can. This is just like a, a sort of natural crevasse, it seems, that ends in, um, well, it just ends in sort of a pit at the end there. That's, it's really cool, though. It's a really awesome um, bit of natural environment. That's what I love about this game, man. You know, the, the, the thought of a game automatically generating these kind of, kinds of terrain really blows my mind. I just, I don't know how they program this game, man. It's, it's really, it's something special, seriously. Um, all right, so <laughs> we are doing a whole butt ton of dilly dallying up in here, man. So let's try get to a high spot. I want to have one last sweep of this jungle just to make sure that we haven't missed a jungle temple. I can't see any jungle temple action. There is the pillar in the distance. I kind of want to keep that pillar um, directly behind me. I do believe that we need to head in this direction to get back to the mole hole. Um, I don't, I, I'm just, that's just a wild guess. Um, that's just my instinct but the sun is going down and that is not good times for us man all right we need to make oh goodness oh this is not good oh this is not good the sun is going down i've left it too late do we have any more pog chops no no more pog chops oh my goodness okay let's let's see maybe we can find a village or something around here man 
Um, the sun is coming, going down, and that means we are in, pre in a precarious situation. Death is imminent. Ooh, look at that. Oh, man, that looks so awesome in the, in the distance there. I think what I'm going to have to do, guys, is set up some sort of a miniature mole hole up in here just so that we can uh, be able to craft our compass in peace without being disturbed by mobs. So let's just quickly and quick, fast, and in a hurry dig ourselves a miniature mole hole up in here. Let's just dig into the side of this mountain and uh, we'll open up a little um, space over here where we can put our crafting table down and, and make a compass. I think we probably need to make some more torches now too, um, considering we're going to be traveling at night. We do not want to get stuck um, traveling at night with no torches, man. That is not going to be a good idea. Let's light this place up, um, this miniature mole hole, and lock ourselves in. Sweet. Okay, we are safe once again. Awesome. Okay, so let's get our crafting table down. Um, oops. No, not, not, not like that, man. <laughs> Where is the crafting table? Okay, there we go. Let's get our crafting table down, pick up these sticks again, because we need to make some torches. And uh, we've got a whole butt ton of coal to do that. And um, there we go. Looking sweet. Hmm, we've also got this piece of obsidian in our inventory that we picked up when we were mining for diamonds. But I, I don't think I want that freaking obsidian, man. This is obsidian can get out of my life. Um, but we do need a sticks, though. Um, I'm sure I just had some sticks. Oh, I just made a whole ton of torches. All right, sweet. So that is definitely enough sticks um, to last a life, uh, enough torches to last a lifetime, I think. And what we need to work on now, guys, is a compass. And it doesn't look like we have enough uh, iron to make a compass. So we're going to have to quickly put together a little furnace action up in here. And this is taking us way back to like the very beginning of Minecraft, man. Damn, <laughs> we are returning back to the roots. And uh, let's get some coal up in this jazz, and then we can smelt down some of this iron ores. I think, how many um, how many bits of iron do we need? We actually need three more bits of iron, and then we're going to put a piece of redstone up in the middle here, and that's going to make for us a compass that's going to be able to direct us home to the mole hole. And uh, man, hopefully we can get back without dying. Man, this obsidian is... is oh. God, this is like the, the 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 twin sister of that boat that we broke up with, man. This obsidian. And she's all up in my grill now, man. She's like a stalker. Get out of my life, obsidian! I do not want you or your freaking sister. You hear me, your butthole? All right. <laughs> uh, no. Whoa! That was an enderman. That was an enderman. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. There is an enderman outside this door. I'm pretty sure of it. I just heard him swooping around. And uh, that's not good times for us, that's for shizzle. Um, look at me, man. I'm so nervous. I'm, I'm putting freaking iron ingots into the furnace. Like a noob. I'm trying to make a <laughs> refined urn. Um, no, no, what's the what's the uh, the, 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 uh, the ingot in... Oh, it's a, a double... Oh, God, I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. I'm just going to be quiet and let this urn... Um, <laughs> let this urn smelt. Okay, there we go. We've got enough urn to make a compass. Man, the rain has come down. Um, the Minecraft gods do not want us to get home. That is for shizzle. And that is not working for some reason. Um, I was, I'm pretty sure that's what a compass looked like. Or maybe we've used too much urn up in here. Maybe it's just like a, a cross. Oh, yes, I think it is just a cross, actually. There we go. All right, compass action in the belly. Sweet. Obsidian, get out of my freaking life, dude. Leave me the hell alone. Oh, my God. This obsidian is driving me cray-cray, man. Right, let's take this coal. Okay, so... Um, the compass is pointing in this direction to get home. I think we're going to leave the crafting table and the furnace here. We don't need them no more. Our inventory is full. We need to get these 27 diamonds back to the mole hole safe and sound. I think what I'm going to do is actually just dig out this way. I don't particularly want to go out in this direction because I do believe there is an ender butt outside waiting for us. Although it is raining now, so um, he's probably despawned. Um, right, let's see if we can break through this mountain. Right, we've got a butt ton of torches now, so this should be all good okay we've broken out into the open guys and we need to head in this direction to get back to the mole hole okay let's do this man run run for your life skeleton dodge the arrow bam Kablam. sweet one down oh god ender butt he's coming for me but it's raining man he can't freaking stay he can't stay spawned ha enderman I got your number, man. You will never take me down to Chinatown. Alright, so it looks like we got to come through this crevasse. Oh, a creeper. Run, piggy, run. This is danger zone. What up, pig? You need to run, dude. This place is infested. 
I hate to break it to you, but your land is infested with zombies. There has been an apocalypse of epic precautions. All humans are now zombies and you are in grave danger, my friend. Um, mm, steak time, baby. Mm. Damn. Ooh, hello. Steak vacation time. Don't mind if I do. Ah. Bam. Whoa, that was, that was epic, man. That was some ninja skills up in there. Do we have an arrow in us yet? Nope. No arrow has hit us. Cow, give me your steaks. Sweet. Man, I love Fang. I'm pretty sure Fang is my favorite item in this game, especially because it steakifies. Imagine you had like a, a sweet ass kitchen knife that just turns freaking cows into steaks instantly. That would be sweet. That would be freaking sweet, man. I'm literally just distracting myself because I'm freaking terrified of dying right now. Here is the ocean. That is a good sign, man. The ocean is where we want to be. I do believe that this... Yes, look, this is the chunk that we found in the beginning. There is our pillar. Oh, God. Take it. Take it. Bam. Bam. Woo. Right, there is the pillar that we set up. Our original adventure pillar. That is sweet. Okay, so all we need to do now, guys, is put together a bit of a boat. So let's make a crafting table quick fast and in a freaking hurry baby and uh what can we drop off here man what what don't i need what don't i need no more these torches i don't need no more and let's set up our crafting table we need to make a boat make some plankage make a boat and we are off it has been real um, this, I don't even know what to call this. I, this is like the third continent, I guess. It has been real. Guys, um, of the third continent, skeletons, zombies, pigs and cows, I am out of here, man. I'm going back to my own land, back to Rentopia, where, uh, things are much more peaceful. And, um, man, it has been real. Thanks for all the loots, and I'll smell you later. <laughs> okay, awesome. Guys, I think we have found the ocean, and I think that we are going to be safe, man. We just have one more expedition to get home but what we can do is just go through the strip mine outpost to get back into um the mo Ooh, wait i think we're gonna have to go around this island this is like a, a pretty cool island over here i think um we don't have our, our mini map mod so we can't actually see if this is an island or not but it does look like an island which is pretty awesome it looks like a jungle island in fact oh man I mean, why don't we just do a little experiment, man? Why don't we try go all the way around this... Man, check at these chunks, man. There's some crazy jazz going on up in here. Check at those those um, trees up there. What the, what the heck is going on here? This is an island, in fact. And this is a jungle island. And I think there's another one over here, man. Check how awesome this place is. Yeah, that is an island for shizzle. And that is a jungle island. And you know what, man? I'm kind of sensing that there could very well be... A jungle temple on this island i don't i don't know man I, I just do you think it's worth exploring people hell yeah so check it out right we've managed to go all the way around this island which tells me that it is an island and man that is awesome um i'm starting to have some thoughts i'm starting to have some thoughts about maybe doing something on this island for season three this seems like a pretty sweet ass spot to, to maybe to start season three like starting from scratch you know what i'm saying like maybe we we um look how awesome this is man look how sweet this island is it has like beat it has a beach it has everything so i get i'm gonna explore here guys i'm gonna see if maybe there's a, a jungle temple on this island because that would be epic look at this man this is awesome it has awesome cliffs and everything and it has this really epic little bay over here too which i'm i really like so guys I, i'm just gonna just going to explore this island a little bit and um, I'm going to run something past you, right? So I've been thinking about season three, man. And obviously what we want to be doing in season three is going to the end. That's always been the plan. It's always been the plan to go to the end in season three um, and attempt to maybe fight the ender dragon or, or just get close enough to be able to spawn the ender dragon and maybe fighting the ender dragon in season four. But what I have been thinking about doing for season three is maybe leaving the mole hole um, for the first, I don't know, 20 or 30 episodes and literally starting again somewhere else. So leaving all of my loots behind and going on like a Darwinian expedition to find some fresh virgin land and, uh, you know, starting all over again. Um, 
and creating basically a second civilization somewhere else. And, and then we, we would be able to link the two civilizations via like a sweet ass railway network or something like that. Um, and this island is actually looking pretty damn sweet. Check it out, man. It looks like there looks to be a massive cave system under here. Um, so that would be epic for like first time exploring. There are awesome bays all around the island. It is a jungle biome, my favorite biome in the game. So that's always good. Um, and uh, it's just, this is just generally a pretty sweet place, man. I, like, if I started a brand new Minecraft world, I would be more than happy to spawn um, on this little island. I've got to say, man, it is pretty damn sweet. Um, but it doesn't look like there's a jungle temple on here, unfortunately. Um, oh, well. It was worth a shot. You know what I'm saying, people? Right, where did I leave my boat? Yo, squids! Did you take my boat? I will turn you into tasty deep fried calamari if you did. And don't think I won't. I've already staked about, about five freaking cows on this expedition and you will be next. <laughs> Calamarification. Man, that'd be awesome if, if, you, uh, if you hit a squid with a, a fire aspect um, sword. If it turned it into deep fried crispy calamari. Damn. I love freaking calamari, man. Damn. Um, I don't want this rotten flesh, man. It is steak time. Mmm. Alright guys, well, um, we got a little bit distracted there. I was hoping to find a jungle temple on that island, but I, I don't think that's going to happen. Very cool island though. Um, let's keep this in the back of our minds, Cyberdogs. We might just, um, you know, decide to do something with that island. Um, and look, you know, I mean, just think of the, oh, just look at it. The, the terrain is just so awesome. Um, you know, we could build like a sweet ass, amazing, like, what I'm thinking is kind of like a Dracula-esque cathedral on top of that massive mountain over there you know like a really ominous looking castle or something maybe using a different material maybe using um stone instead of cobblestone or or, or making it out of wood maybe or clay oh man i don't oh, my, my brain's going crazy man for season three but we still need to finish season two so let's get our brains back in season two man i'm gonna i'm gonna freaking go straight into the, <laughs> i'm gonna go straight into the uh, into the beach there man get rid of that boat boats and i right now we on we are just uh, we're not getting along very well man seriously I've really broken up with one boat and I just broke another boat and uh, you know our, our relationships oh, it just hasn't been working out man Ooh, steak vacation time give me a steaks and give me a steaks mm. jeez man 14 steaks already I, I can't believe I haven't been steakifying um, all this time man this is such an efficient way to get um, steaks well, and you get XP well you get like one XP ball and the steaks so it's pretty it's pretty good I think it's probably better to do it in a furnace. You probably get more XP making steaks in a furnace, but I, I, I cannot verify that claim. Um, I'm just assuming. All right, so this is starting to look pretty familiar. This kind of looks like our old, um, our old land over here, guys. Isn't this our, our winter tundra or our just our normal plains um, biome over here? Kind of looks like it. Pretty sure we've wandered around these parts before. And here's a doggy. Hey, what's up? I don't got no bones for you. Or you maybe would have joined the pack. Cow! Dude! Cows do not belong in trees! You hear me, a bastard? Bam! Kaplam! Take it! That'll teach you and all cow kind. Do not climb trees. 18 stakes, guys. That is awesome, man. Jeez. The only problem with um, stakeifying is, of course, it wears um, Fang down quite heavily. But we've got 32 levels and a butt ton of diamonds from our little expedition. Come here, you bastard! Jeez, he almost sidestepped me, man. <laughs> Alright. We are almost home. I have a feeling I can smell the molehole, man. I can smell the furnace room. Delicious taters and steaks cooking away. The butler is, is preparing the, mol the molehole for, for our return. Turning on all the fires. Getting the kitchens ablazing. Um, I hope she swept the place also, man. It was kind of dusty when I left. It's kind of slacking, even though I've just hired her, man. Seriously. You would think like, oh, okay, this is spawn over here, guys. Um, obviously, the compass brings us to spawn, right? So, um, I do believe the mole hole is in this direction. We've got to head towards that jungle biome over there, which is, of course, the biome in which we originally spawned. At, I, I mean, I, not originally spawned. We, we spawned near that jungle biome. And then the first thing we did was head toward that jungle biome. Um, and... Man, it has been raining all episode, man. This has been a freaking rainy-ass episode. That's for shizzle. Um, man. Let me turn these particles down. Quiet rain. You're driving me cray-cray. 
All right, people, this is looking very much like our jungle. And there are the farmlands. There are the farmlands. What up, farmlands? Oh, man, it is good to be home. Damn. That was uh, a pretty damn intense expedition, I must say. Um, but we are back and we are alive. What the heck, man? Why is the, uh, the rain still decreased? Minimal, please. There we go. All right, rain has been silenced. And, oh man, we are taking a walk through the farmlands. Cows, I just want you to know that um, I stakeified a whole ton of cows on the way here. So most of you are going to live um, for quite a few more episodes. You can thank me later. Now get munching on these walnuts falling out of these trees so that you can make me some delicious ass steaks. Mm, damn. Pig, same goes for you, man. I'm not in a pork chop mood, so you guys, uh, you guys are going to survive for now. Um, Oh man, yes, back to the mole hole, back to the butler's house. Man, let's just make sure that everything is uh, all good around here. Beatrice, give me an update, man. What's been going down? What's been going down in Rentopia? What? What's that? The dogs dooted all over the mole hole. Oh my God. Those little bastards. I hope you freaking rubbed, in, rubbed their noses in it, man. Seriously. Oh, guys, a ton of you wanted uh, wanted me to find out what Beatrice actually trades. So let's have a look. Beatrice, what have you got to trade? Bam! <laughs> that is hilarious. All that she can trade is a, uh, is a hoe. She's basically, she's basically a mistress. Check it out, man. For four emeralds, you get a hoe. <laughs> mistress Beatrice. Oh, man. I'm, I'm just going to leave now. I, I don't know what you've been up to while I've been away, but I'm not going to ask any questions, man. Seriously, I'm just going to close the door and leave. Dogs! Oh, I'm so angry with your ass. Which one of you freaking did your business in my bedroom? Was it you, Nugget? Oh, God, I'm angry. I'm so freaking angry. Man, Paloma's like, hell yeah, it was Nugget. I saw him. Hello, kid. Hello, kid. Oh, man, this is awesome to be back home. I'm so happy to be back home, guys. Um, epic. Okay, so we've got a whole butt ton of loot to drop off. I think what we should do is probably head up to the forge rooms and um, get those furnaces a blazing before we do anything. We've got a butt ton of iron to smelt down. And um, let's have a look, man. We are running out of coal up in here. Let's get this urn up in here. Up in here, too. There is some smelt. Okay, the all of these are already occupied, it seems. Um, 53 gold that is most excellent okay awesome that's great stuff guys our, our urn is now smelting down our gold is now smelting down we're going to be able to make some more gold blocks for granny dog's monument which is epic and um what we can do now also is drop off some of these sweet ass loots up in here and um, looks like let's go to our rare chest actually we can drop off our enchanted book we can drop off um our moss our stacks a mossy cobblestone that is sweet and we'll drop off our diamonds we now have 47 diamonds up in here up in here that is awesome oh there's another enchanted book here and we'll drop off these leather pants in here too um, that's sweet and redstone and rails let's drop off the rails that we found a stack and a half of rails really really sweet and let's head up in here and oh wait no, our redstone and lapis chest is over here yeah, still got a butt ton of redstone, a butt ton of lapis. That's all good. And um, we need to go into our process materials room over here. And this is where we can drop off our stone that we just picked up. And we can drop... Have we got any cobblestone? Nope. We can drop off our wood. We can go and drop off our refined urn up in here. Bam! Almost 50 refined urn. That is sweet, man. We have gone through so much urn in this season. It is actually quite silly. Um, Let's drop off this gunpowder. We'll keep all this food with us, I think. And uh, man, we just gotta drop off these two sticks before OCD tr well and truly kicks in. All right, guys, well, we are back. We have made it back alive and it has been epic. But of course, um, we are not gonna be ending this episode before heading up to the dog alert because it has been a long ass time before I got some of you guys onto the freaking Dogolith. So let's do this thing, guys. I'm gonna get 16 of you onto the Dogolith, man. So hold your freaking thumbs. Maybe it will be you today that gets on the Dogolith. Just gonna pick up some signs from this chest. I keep bringing them to, to the bottle for some reason um, after I've used them on the Dogolith. Um, I always forget to put them in the chest um, at the Dogolith for some reason. Um, I guess it's probably because I'm a butthole. But um, <laughs> let's get up to the Dogolith, guys. Let's have a look. Have the lights come on in, in uh, Mall City? The sun is going down. Man, I love watching the lights go, uh, come on in Mall City. It is awesome. 
We should be able to see it from the dogolith now, actually. Come on! Light some old city! Oh, we can't actually see them from up here. Let's get up to the top of the dogolith. That's where we should be able to see them. Come on, baby! Are we, are we actually going to have space to, um, to get all of you guys on the dogolith? How many spots have we got open here? We've got one, two, three spots. And it looks like we're going to be going up to the third story of the dogolith in this episode. There the lights go. Absolutely epic. Oh, I love, I, I never get tired of seeing that jazz, man. Let me tell you. But it looks like we are going to be going on to the third story of the dogolith today, which is absolutely insane, guys. I can't believe we've actually got to the third story of the dogolith. It is absolutely sweet. But guys, let's start off with... Uh, YouTube subscribers starting with the new man's oops man's channel welcome to the dogolith my lovely friend next up we've got smash bros 863 and thirdly from YouTube subscribers we've got troll craft x true <laughs> welcome to the dogolith troll craft and we've also got Shane Royer. Welcome to the Dogolith, Shane. And let's cross over to the other side. Still from YouTube subscribers, guys, we have got Jacob Lord. Welcome to the Dogolith, Jacob Lord. We've also got Anne P. Um, thirdly, we've got Rashi Akter. And lastly, but not leastly, from YouTube subscribers, we've got Trevor Stull. Welcome to the Dogolith, my awesome YouTube subscribers. You have been immortalized in the internet forever. And now, guys, from dogcraft.net, the official CyberDog fan community, we've got I, Mr. Nugget, and Stinky Stimples. <laughs> that is an awesome name. Thirdly, we've got one High Bodis. And fourthly, we've got. <laughs> this is an awesome name. But Bandito 55. <laughs> Welcome to the Dogolith Butt Bandito 55. And guys, we're going to have to go up to the third story of the Dogolith for the final entry today. Still from dogcraft.net, um, the official CyberDog fan community. We have got Cool 6195. Welcome to the Dogolith Cool. We've also got Z Rules 1. And we've got Jamesy. 166 and lastly but not, not leastly for today's dogolith ent entries we've got filipina panda 101 man is that like a university course or something <laughs> welcome to the dogolith all of my lovely ass friends remember guys if you want to get your buttholes on the dogolith you need to be a subscriber of the Ren dog channel and you need to leave me a constructive comment here and there on any video that you like i try and read all the comments uh, as many comments as i humanly can and i always pick um, at random from the comments that I read, but only constructive comments, guys, and I do not pick people who who ask to be put on the dog list, so don't even try. You can also visit dogcraft.net, the official CyberDog fan community. There is a thread on the forum there where you can add your YouTube username to stand a chance of being put on the Dogolith. Guys, dogcraft.net is completely free to join. There are thousands of CyberDogs from all over the world already. Um, there on dogcraft.net chatting away and uh, it's a great place to meet other cyber dogs as well as a great place to meet me so come and check it out my awesome friends guys if you've enjoyed this episode hit that freaking like button and if you're from somewhere near on the interbubs number one i'm angry at you because you have not watched the previous videos so go back and watch the previous videos before you continue on this series but number two hit that freaking subscribe button man and guys we will see you in the next episode this has been Randog playing minecraft survival goodbye my friends